My name's Ross Tringali. In 1994, I was diagnosed with reflux uh, of the kidneys. In 1997, I had my first kidney transplant by my mother. Uh, thanks, Mum. That lasted 11 years. In 2006, I lost that to a renal carcinoma. So at that time, I was one in 49 people whose recipient kidney, my mum's kidney, developed a tumour and spread through my body. Now, of course, that foreign object spread to my lungs and had to be taken out. So they performed a nephorectomy. Uh, six years later, my double cousin gave me her kidney, and that was two and a half years ago. So my cousin is Beatrice Derricks. Her mum and my mum are sisters, and my dad and her dad are brothers, which effectively makes me her brother, but mm. technically it's double cousins. So the second kidney transplant, after a few plasma exchanges, uh, six weeks before the transplant and six weeks after the transplant, has actually been a better match than my mother's. You know, the reason for this is, from my understanding and being told, is not to do with our parents, it's to do with our grandparents. Whereas my brother and sister were incompatible to give me their kidney, my cousin was. Uh, and that's got to do with genetics. So if the grandparents passed down through uh, a second generation. And the kidney has worked so well, I was allowed to leave the country and I went to Italy for six weeks on my own. I think nine of my family members and outside of this immediate family put their hands up. So to me, it was kind of like just a normal, natural thing that my mother was giving me her kidney. It's like, well, this is what families do. Um, I know that whenever I come back to level 10, and I do every now and then, you know, I, they know me by name and it's a, a really, it's a peaceful feeling not like a second home, but it's really warming for me. And I'm so lucky that I can communicate to these doctors and nurses that they reciprocate and talk to me, that it's just a, to me it's like a bond and I feel real good. And I have nothing but praise for this hospital. These people have made such a significant difference to my life and the people that love me. You know, I've got six godchildren. I have no children, but I've got six godchildren and I make a difference to them and my family members. And this is because of the people who do their job. And it might be just a job to them, but I'm telling you, they are just amazing people. So if you're listening, thanks a lot, guys.